Okay guys, for this video, I would like to share what is varistor. Varistor is a voltage-dependent uh, resistor. And this is similar to the capacitor in the shape, but this is not a capacitor. This is called a metal outside varistor, so MOV. In the short form, we just call it a varistor. So varistor is a voltage active device which is we normally can see in all the uh, power supply board and any circuit board to protect the circuit board for over voltage so this varistor you will see the part number right here 14D471K so every a varistor they have the part number so which represents the first uh, the first 14 d that means the 14 millimeter 14 uh, mm of the the this size and the second part number is the value of this varistor and the last k k is for plus minus 10 percent so what i'm holding right here is 14 d 471k so 14 is the size of this varistor 14 mm and this 471 is the value and k is the tolerance of this varistor so every varistor has specific voltage so which is you can check on the internet that varistor so if this value 471 this is the voltage maximum is 300 V AC if for the DC appliance 385 DC so if you're using your varista if you uh, you want let's say your power supply varista is burnt out and if you want to replace varista you can uh, you cannot simply re replace the varista you have to check the value of the varista you have to be the same voltage otherwise it will uh, it will be useless or it will be very dangerous for your circuit board because why they use this varistor in the circuit board is to protect the circuit board for over voltage so this is a simple drawing for the circuit board here is the circuit board and life and neutral from the AC so the first life is coming here and we protect by the fuse and here is the neutral so from the neutral to the life we have a parallel using this varistor where we place in this position so parallel circuit so when the voltage let's say this is a 300 voltage AC input so when your voltage is 300 input uh, coming to uh, this circuit board In, in the normal situation, <coughs> this varistor is open circuit. So all the times this the voltage, they will directly go through to the circuit board. Uh, life, the power, life directly comes from the fuse, pass through to the fuse, and direct goes to the circuit board. So from this varistor, there is no uh, voltage flowing, there is no current flowing from uh, the first pin to the second pin because this is this is uh, function as the open circuit but when the voltage is over to a 300 voltage above or which means the specific voltage for this varistor is already over so in that case so the voltage will go through to this varistor and the current will go through to this varistor and the varistor will be hit and in that case the fuse will be blown so in the time your circuit board is safe the circuit board is will be protect so that is how they use a varistor in the circuit board so how to check this varistor with a multimeter I'm holding here is analog multimeter just check for connectivity the good varistor 
will be open circuit so it will not be short circuit so we can see here there is no positive and negative for the varistor no polarity so you can just make sure from either side this is open circuit which means this varistor is good I take another one So in the normal situation, varistor is open circuit, which means there is no volt current flowing from the first pin to the second pin. I have a few sizes here. It's all there is no connectivity, which means all is the open circuit. The good condition of varistor have to be open circuit. But here I have is already damaged. This is uh, the bed varistor already damaged already burned so if you check this is closed circuit so you can see on the multimeter here the multimeter we move so this is closed circuit which means this varistor is out this varistor is bad so we can see the varistor is a burn out. If you use digital multimeter, if you use digital multimeter, you can just simply check on the buzzer mode, which is to check for connectivity. So here is open circuit. So there is no sound but if you check on capacitor mode so you can select to the capacitor mode so for the capacitor mode they will show you a few value a very small value which is nano so 0 0.29 nano farad so it has a capacitor value but once you use the uh, multi digital multimeter for testing the capacitor value it will show you the capacitor value but it will be very constant this will not keep moving so the value is 0 0.29 here this is a good varistor all the good varistor I will check it so this varistor the value is quite high 4.5a nanofarad this one, 0. Uh, sorry, 0 0.20 nanofarad. But if I check the back varistor right here, so I didn't get any value. I didn't get any value. There is no capacitor value in this varistor because this varistor is already damaged. So there is two ways that you can identify your varistor is good or bad. You can use capacitor multimeter. It will show you uh, a small value of the capacitor value. If the bad varistor, it will show you uh, the value will be keep changing or keep moving or there is not totally no value at all. Just like here. So there is no value at all which means already spoiled